All right, I'm making another video about this because so much has happened since the first breakdown. And there's been a lot of people saying stuff about the first allegation, so I just want to counter them a little bit and kind of just give exactly what information is out on this scenario with the Astros and with MLB in general. Cheating, using video cameras and all that nonsense because the guys at The Athletic and people across baseball are getting out some good information, and it's all scattered. So let's see what we can find. First, as you know, The Athletic and their initial article, The Bombshell, from Kenny Rosenthal and Evan Drillich. Is that how you say it, Evan? The Astros set up in 2017 was not overly complicated. A feed from a camera in center field fixed on the opposing catcher signs was hooked up to a television monitor that was placed on a wall steps from the team's home dugout at Minute Maid Park in the tunnel that runs between the dugout and the clubhouse. Team employees and the players would watch the screen during the game and try to decode signs sitting opposite the screen on massage tables in a wide hallway. So that's what they told us. That's what Mike Fires went on record as saying the setup was. We have pictures of the setup, the area between the clubhouse and the dugout at Minute Maid Park. We have a picture of a garbage can that looks, you know, if we're being honest, that one side of it looks like it took a couple beatings in its day. And then above the garbage can, we have some of those. Not sure what they could be for. Honestly, they could be for anything, but it is funny that there's a hanging wire right above the garbage can in question. What many of you probably don't know is this is not the first time we've heard about Astros players hitting a garbage can in signs. Back in 2018, Jeff Passan, 2018, he wrote an article all about the sign stealing when the Astros had an employee in the opposing dugout taking pictures. <laughs> Think about that. And he wrote, two major league players have said they witnessed the Astros players hitting a trash can in the dugout in recent years. So this is 2018. So we've been talking about this. The Astros have been rumored to do this stuff forever. So I took that information. I took the Farquhar stuff. I made the breakdown, which you guys all watched. I put it on Twitter. I put it on YouTube. I got like 6 million views. And with that came a lot of questions, right? With that came a lot of questions, right? And a lot of Astros fans saying, oh, one at bat? Well, it was more than one at bat. Trust me. I went on my podcast and I told everyone that listens, I said, hey, if you're bored at work, go find some. If you're bored as fuck after you listen to this podcast at your office and you have the ability to have downtime, go to YouTube and type the words in all caps at AT, then H-O-U, all caps, 2017. That will give you all the full games that MLB or any YouTube account has of games that took place at Minute Maid Park in 2017. And just go to the seventh, eighth, ninth inning, and you'll hear banging before breaking pitches. I was doing it last night. It's too easy. It's literally almost every game. And the emails started pouring in, and the DMs started pouring in, and people sent me what they found. And I took those videos and I put it on a thread. And then on Reddit, they went even crazier, and they have a thread on there of their own with links and timestamps, and you can hear this banging throughout the 2017 season. Why is this so damning? Well, here's the thing. For people that are trying to say, oh, the pitcher's just tipping his pitches, and they're letting the batter know, that's not how that works. If the pitcher's tipping his pitches, then the batter knows. He knows exactly what to look for. The banging is coming from off the diamond and beyond the dugout, right? So why would someone that removed from the field have insight that a guy on the field doesn't have? It has to be somewhere he's getting a feed of something. So, you know, and they're saying that this is a cable that's hooked directly from a camera to the screen. There's no broadcast delay. There's none of that. This was a camera they put in place. Now the banging patterns up perfectly with off-speed pitches. And sometimes it's even one bang for a slider, two bangs for a changeup. If you're just guessing on tipped pitches, you're not going to be that exact. Not at all. 
So then the examples started flying in. You guys have probably seen these. Here's some more. Listen for the bangs. Put headphones on. You honestly don't even need to adjust the audio for these. You can go on YouTube. You can find them. Here are some. This ball is crushed to left field. Thirty-five runs batted in the switch hitter. All of his home runs this season have. Two for six in the series. The banging sound is so loud that Baseball Prospectus put out an article saying you can track the audio files. You can just scan for that sound and you can track it. And there's a whole article out there where they tracked it and it's persistent and it starts early in games and it goes throughout and it only bangs on off-speed pitches. So that's kind of damning. And you'd be like, oh, well, this did this help the Astros? Well, yeah, because they were last in the league, 15th, 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 14th at strikeout to walk percentage. And then they jumped to first, second, and first. A lot of you could say, well, they got better players. So obviously they were really, they were trying to tank in some of those early years. And that's very fair counter. But let's compare their strikeout and walk ratio to the league. It looks like a fake chart. All the teams gradually go down, gradually go down, and then bam, Astros. It looks like, you know, what are they doing? Well, probably cheating with the video camera. So it just keeps going. It's not a good look. They were really good in 2017. They won the World Series that year. And then our dudes at The Athletic, Kenny and Evan, come out again with some more headlines. Astros executive asked scouts for help stealing signs and suggested using cameras. Emails show. That would be damning. Oh, here's the email. <laughs> One thing in specific we are looking for is picking up signs coming out of the dugout, the email sender wrote in a message from August of 2017. What we are looking for is how much we can see, how we would log things, if we need cameras, binoculars. So go to a game, see what you can or can't do, and report back your findings. So as soon as these new executives came in, they sent, out to, sent that out to a bunch of scouts saying, hey, we want to cheat. Can you help us? And a lot of the scouts said they were disgusted, and some probably helped because they ended up doing it. We had a bunch of other players come out and say, you know, hey, this is bad. We need this cleaned up. Look into this. I had a bunch of people reach out to me because I was kind of – I wasn't doing the investigating, but I was putting it out there for everyone to see because I have a following – and saying, keep going. This is bad. And I have heard rumors and rumblings from people that I trust that this is way deeper than we even know right now. And things could get worse. So we'll wait and see. There might be a part two to this video. Some players came out. I heard this on my own. And then a player came out. Trevor Plouffe came out and said that according to Carson Smith and now confirmed by my source, his source. And also I had someone tell me this before that. The Astros had someone watching a live feed and then relaying the pitch calls via earpiece to the bullpen catcher. Hands up on the fence for fastball, hands down for off speed because the banging was unable to be heard because the fans were so loud, so they directed their eyesight out there. I went and checked. You can try and check eye line stuff. Nothing's going to be... You're not going to be able to prove that at all. The banging's our most conclusive evidence. They also said whistling... Whistling, so many fans whistle, and to say like, oh, that whistle came from this isn't going to be there. That banging is such a distinct sound, and it matches up with just off-speed pitches so perfectly that if they get a couple more people to corroborate that like this, yeah, this happened, which I think they will, that's pretty damning. The 2017 season looks up. Now, do we think they got a moral compass and just stopped cheating after 2017, or do we think they got smarter about it and changed their methods? Obviously, I lean one way, and Astros fans probably maybe lean the other way if they even accept 2017 at all. But I think that sums it up. I think one interesting note is that the exec that got fired, Taubman, for the yelling about the domestic abuse to the reporter, and the Astros handled it so terribly. The Astros ended up firing him kind of by public demand, but the public demand was probably right because he was, seems like a bad guy. So now he's lawyering up. 
So now we got this Taubman dude who's probably a bad guy that helped implement cheating and then was a bad guy that yelled at someone about domestic violence and then was a bad guy and got fired. Now it seems like he's a bad guy and he's going to spill the beans on the whole organization or sue them or something. So bad guy, but yeah, spill the beans, Taubman. Tell us the truth and we'll have to figure out if we trust you or not. I think that's all. I'll, I'll make a part two if more comes out. It's been a wild, wild run. Oh, other teams do this. Other teams have done this. I think the Astros led the way. I think they started it. I think they, I think not started it, but I think they really, I think they really uh, executed it to a more extreme and executed it better than any other team was doing. And that's why they're at the forefront. But sure, we had the Apple Watch, had the Yankees messing with bullpen phones. We've had other teams do this. Um, and I'm sh- no, don't be naive enough to think that just one team is doing this. My eyes are going crazy on me. This video was brought to you by CoverageGear.com. They sell this hat. They sell hats for every single team, all sports. Go to CoverageGear.com. Use, tw- use discount code BREAKDOWN for 20% off. Get yourself a Christmas present. I like this one because it's so stupid and so corny that I like it. But they have a bunch of like actual really cool ones. So go to CoverageGear.com. And uh, I think that ends this video. My right eye is twitching out on me like crazy. And um, oh, buy a shirt.